TNT Sports presents Bud Pole Qualifying to set the starting field for the Sharpie 500 at Bristol. Wally, a driver this morning down in the garage told me qualifying at Bristol is 30 seconds of terror. Uh, that pretty much hits the nail on the head around this place. You always hear drivers, I'm holding my breath. I've got to hold my breath. You literally hold your breath around this place qualifying. It happens so fast. And like Ryan's saying, you got to hit your marks. you got to be perfect. So, yeah, this is a very intimidating racetrack. The topic of discussion in the garage area throughout the morning was yesterday's vicious NASCAR Busch Series crash here at Bristol that you've probably read about sometime earlier today. Mike Harlan was the driver. He comes up off of turn number two. It's so reminiscent of Michael Waltrip's crash here back in 1990. Catches where the crossover gate meets the concrete wall and it destroys his car. The gate gave way and he hit that concrete wall head on and you can see just literally sheared the car in two and watching the circle that's mike Harmon sitting in there johnny sauter comes along in the two car and luckily missed and watch this folks he stands up and steps out of the car unbelievable I, that is un and someone said he looked at those guys and said i can't believe it i'm alive yeah you know, i talked about the similarities to michael waltrip's crash here a number of years ago same thing watch michael in that red and yellow 30 car gets bumped with robert presley there same spot, same thing. And the car just stops. I mean, it's going 70, 80, 60, whatever miles per hour, and the car just literally stops. And nothing can do that. The car just, Michael's car totally disintegrated. As a matter of fact, when the rescue workers went to the Michael's car, there were two parts of the car. They went to the wrong part. They went to the biggest part where they thought he would be. He was not there. He was in the other part over there. Whew. I mean, that's... Then one says, have you ever seen a wreck that bad? I said, yeah, Michael Walters, because a lot of similarities. And I would not want to pick, I would not want to be in either one of those cars, nor would I pick the one that was the worst crash. There's a dynamic duo for many years. Ray said, man, what a break you caught. Clouds came over, it's cooled off, I need a coat. I need a coat, yeah. I don't know about that, but qualified in the top 25 here, so obviously it's been a big jump for us. And executives Paul and Bob is they wanted me on the front straightaway so they can see me from the suite as far as the pit box is concerned so, so far I did my job brand new paint scheme yeah it's looking pretty sharpie and it's looking very sharpie guys all right new pole man Jeff Gordon has done it 19 career starts here his average starting spot is fifth he gets it done at Bristol what makes you say that <laughs> Finishes. First lap is the lap that does the job. 15-4-7-0. Junior was 15-4-8-2. You know, both of his two poles this season have come on short tracks. Here at Bristol in March and then at Martinsville in April. Man, got through one and two. It's just, I don't think he can get through one and two any better. All right, but will it last long? Yeah, that's right. Can Rusty Wallace in his... Blue Deuce knock him off the pole. Hey, Dave, who you got now? Well, uh, Jeff Gordon is debriefing with his crew. Lots of handshakes and high fives going around. Jeff, uh, you got your first pole here this spring. Sun's back out. What do you think? Will it hold? I don't know. All I know is that's a really good lap for us. Uh, we didn't make any adjustments to it because we ran so good in practice. And, uh, you know, the car was a little bit tight there, but I was able to get back in the gas. It turned real late for me. and. Uh, got off the corners down the straightaways real real good so uh, you know we we, we need a, a good solid qualifying run I mean been struggling with qualifying and I knew when we came here a short track place to sound the pole last time we'd have a real good shot at the DuPont Chevrolet so proud of these guys they worked hard for this one today place you've won four times doesn't help to have it doesn't hurt to have the confidence here either Alan that's it we're all done Jeff Gordon has won the pole here at Bristol we'll come back with a look at the grid qualifying results in just a moment but pole qualifying's over here at Bristol. Jeff Gordon has taken the top spot, third time in the 2002 season, second straight here at Bristol, at his 45th career Winston Cup Bud Pole Award. So obviously it's, it's been, been a big jump for us. Jeff Gordon, who scored the Bud Pole, and he'll lead the field with the green flag and the Sharpie 500 tomorrow night. We'll see you tonight at 8 Eastern time for the Bush Series race here on TNT.